Aeolian deposits. Aeolian deposits, also known as Aeolian deposits, are sediments transported and deposited by the wind. These deposits are typically associated with arid or semi arid environments, where vegetation is sparse, and wind activity is a dominant force shaping the landscape. Here are the main types and characteristics of Aeolian deposits Sand dunes. Types Various types of sand dunes include Barkhan dunes, transverse dunes, linear dunes, star dunes, and parabolic dunes. The type of dune form depends on factors like wind direction, wind strength, sand supply, and vegetation. Formation Sand dunes form when the wind transports loose sand and deposits it when the wind speed decreases. The sand accumulates and creates mounds or ridges. Characteristics Sand dunes are characterized by their size, shape, and orientation. They can vary greatly in height, from small ripples to massive dunes several hundred meters high. Luss deposits. Formation Luss is a fine grained, silt sized sediment formed by the accumulation of wind blown dust. It often originates from glacial outwash plains or deserts. Characteristics Luss deposits are typically well sorted homogeneous, and have a high porosity. They are often found in thick, extensive layers and can create fertile soils. Desert pavements. Formation, desert pavements are formed by the removal of finer particles by wind, leaving a surface covered with closely packed, interlocking pebbles and gravel. Characteristics, these pavements are usually flat and can protect underlying finer sediments from further wind erosion. Ventifacts. Formation, ventifacts are rocks that have been shaped and polished by wind-driven sand. Characteristics, they often have sharp edges and faceted surfaces, indicating the direction of prevailing winds. Deflation hollows. Formation, deflation hollows, or blowouts, are depressions created by the removal of loose material by wind action. Characteristics, these hollows can vary in size and depth and are often found in desert or semi-desert regions. Erg, Sand Sea Formation, ergs are large areas covered by extensive sand dunes. Characteristics, they can cover hundreds of square kilometers and are typically found in deserts like the Sahara. Importance of Aeolian Deposits Paleoclimate Indicators Aeolian deposits provide valuable information about past climatic conditions. For example, extensive lust deposits indicate periods of strong wind activity and arid conditions. Soil formation, lust deposits contribute to the formation of fertile soils, which are important for agriculture. Geological studies, the study of Aeolian deposits helps geologists understand sedimentary processes and the dynamics of past environments. Examples of Aeolian Deposits Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, located in Colorado, USA, it features some of the tallest sand dunes in North America. Sahara Desert, home to vast ergs, the Sahara showcases extensive Aeolian deposits. Lus Plateau in China, known for its thick Lus deposits, this plateau is one of the largest Lus areas in the world. Aeolian deposits play a significant role in shaping landscapes and providing insights into Earth's geological and climatic history. Formation of Aeolian Deposits The formation of Aeolian deposits involves several processes, primarily driven by the action of wind. Here's a detailed explanation of how these deposits form. Key Processes in Aeolian Deposit Formation Weathering and Erosion Source material, Aeolian deposits start with the weathering and breakdown of rocks and soils in arid and semi-arid regions. This creates loose particles of varying sizes, from fine dust to sand. Erosion, wind erodes these materials through deflation, removal of loose particles from the ground, and abrasion, wearing down surfaces by wind-driven particles. Transport. Suspension, fine particles, such as silt and clay, are lifted into the air and transported over long distances by the wind. This can lead to the formation of lust deposits when these particles settle. Saltation, 
sand-sized particles are lifted briefly into the air and then hop or bounce along the ground. This process is crucial in the formation of sand dunes. Surface creep, larger particles, like pebbles, are too heavy to be lifted and are rolled or pushed along the ground by the wind. Deposition Change in wind velocity, when the wind speed decreases, it loses the energy required to carry particles, causing them to settle. This leads to the accumulation of aeolian deposits. Obstacles Obstacles such as vegetation, rocks, or man-made structures can slow down wind speeds locally, leading to the deposition of particles around these obstacles. Types of aeolian deposits and their formation Sand dunes Formation Sand dunes form when windborne sand particles are deposited. The windward side of a dune has a gentle slope, while the leeward side has a steeper slope called the slip face. Growth and Migration Dunes grow and migrate as sand is continually eroded from the windward side and deposited on the slip face. The shape and type of dune depend on wind direction, strength, and sand supply. Lust Deposits Formation Luss forms from the deposition of fine-grained silt and clay particles that are transported in suspension over long distances. Accumulation These particles accumulate in thick layers, often downwind of large, arid regions or glacial outwash plains. Desert pavements Formation Desert pavements form through the gradual removal of fine particles by wind, leaving behind a surface of larger pebbles and gravel that protects underlying materials from further erosion. Stabilization Over time, these surfaces become stabilized and can support sparse vegetation, reducing further wind erosion. Ventifacts Formation Ventifacts are rocks that have been shaped and polished by wind-driven sand. They develop sharp edges and smooth surfaces as a result of prolonged wind abrasion. Indicative features, the presence of ventifacts indicate strong and persistent wind action in an area. Deflation hollows. Formation, deflation hollows, or blowouts, are depressions created by the removal of loose material by wind. They form in areas where wind erosion is intense and vegetation is sparse. Growth, these hollows can deepen and expand over time as more material is eroded. Ergs, sand seas. Formation, ergs form in desert regions where large quantities of sand accumulate. Wind action organizes the sand into extensive dune fields. Stability, ergs can be dynamic, with dunes constantly shifting, or more stable if vegetation or moisture helps to anchor the sand. Environmental and Climatic Factors Aridity, aeolian deposits are most common in arid and semi-arid regions where vegetation is sparse and cannot anchor the soil. Wind regimes, consistent and strong winds are necessary to transport and deposit aeolian materials. Source Material, the availability of loose, unconsolidated material is crucial for the formation of aeolian deposits. This material can come from deserts, dried lake beds, or glacial outwash plains. Aeolian processes and deposits are integral to understanding past and present climatic conditions, as well as the dynamics of arid landscapes. Characteristics of Aeolian Deposits Aeolian deposits, shaped by wind activity, exhibit distinct characteristics that differentiate them from other types of sedimentary deposits. Here are the key characteristics of Aeolian deposits. Texture and composition. Grain size. Fine grained, aeolian deposits can range from fine dust and silt, lus, to coarser sand grains, sand dunes. Sorting, aeolian sediments are typically well sorted because wind selectively transports and deposits particles of similar size. Grain shape. Rounded grains, wind blown sand grains are often well rounded due to abrasion during transport. Frosted surface, sand grains in aeolian environments often have a frosted or pitted surface from collisions during transport. Structures and stratification. Crossbedding. Inclined layers, aeolian sand dunes exhibit crossbedding, characterized by inclined layers that form on the slip face of dunes. Indicative of wind direction, 
cross-betting records the direction of prevailing winds at the time of deposition. Ripple Marks Small-scale ridges, ripples form on the surface of sandy aeolian deposits, oriented perpendicular to the wind direction. Massive Bedding Homogeneous layers, lust deposits typically show massive bedding with little visible stratification, indicating uniform deposition from suspension. Depositional Features Dunes Varied forms, sand dunes come in various shapes, including barkan, transverse, linear, star, and parabolic dunes, each shaped by wind patterns, sand supply, and vegetation. Lus Extensive and thick, lus deposits are extensive and can form thick blankets over large areas, particularly downwind of deserts or glacial regions. Porous and fertile, lus is highly porous and often forms fertile soils, supporting agriculture. Desert pavements Surface armoring, desert pavements consist of tightly packed gravel or pebbles, protecting finer sediments beneath from erosion. Ventifacts Faceted rocks, rocks sculpted by wind abrasion, showing sharp edges and smooth, polished surfaces. Deflation hollows Depressions, these are shallow depressions formed by the removal of loose surface material by wind action. Environmental indicators Arid and semi-arid environments Climate indication the presence of aeolian deposits indicates past or present arid to semi-arid conditions with sparse vegetation. Wind patterns Directional indicators, the orientation of features like dunes and crossbeds can reveal prevailing wind directions during deposition. Physical and chemical properties Mineral content Quartz dominance, aeolian sands are often rich in quartz due to its hardness and resistance to weathering. Calcite in LUS, LUS deposits can contain significant amounts of calcite and other minerals from the original source material. Color Varied colors, depending on the source material, aeolian sands can range in color from white to yellow, red, and brown. Stability and dynamics Mobility Active versus stabilized dunes, some dunes are active and constantly shifting, while others may be stabilized by vegetation or moisture. Erosional features Blowouts, areas where wind erosion has removed sediments, creating deflation hollows or blowouts. Aeolian deposits provide crucial insights into past wind regimes, climatic conditions, and landscape evolution, making them important in the fields of geology, paleoclimatology, and environmental science.